Hey everyone, how are you doing? Here's a short video from my Becoming a Digital Learner class for the week 11 assignment, in which you are going over the weekly progress report. So here I've got pulled up a weekly progress report, uh, just a sample one with some data and some information on it. Uh, but each of you gets this sent to you in your email inbox. So you need to go to your Gmail and you'll get this on a weekly basis. And then your learning coach, which oftentimes is your one of your parents, gets this as well. And it's a great tool for staying on track of things, uh, especially if you have classes in a few different spots. And it's a great tool for knowing if you're on pace and how you're doing. And the idea is we wanted uh, all of our families, all of our students to know at any given point how they're doing and then make it really easy to start talking with teachers uh, and advisors about progress. So here we go. This is a weekly progress report. You can see the grades were last updated on Tuesday, November 13th, 9.33 a.m., so it gives you an idea of how accurate they are. If you open up a report and it's been a couple days since this timestamp, you may have done work and your grades may be slightly different than what you have on here. But let's go over what these numbers are. So here we have a student taking four classes, becoming a digital learner, core beginning algebra 1A, English language arts 1A, and world history A. And there's a lot of information in here that I just wanna make sure you're understanding and interpreting things correctly. First of all, you can see for each class what curriculum it's in. So this student is working on digital learning on Canvas. They have Algebra 1A in Acellus. They have Language Arts and Ingenuity, and they have World History in Odysseyware. So they have four different systems they're getting into, which is the beauty of this report because it pulls in information from all four systems. They worked, they did 10% in their becoming a digital learner. So they were making progress in that class. They did a lot of work in the Algebra 1A, so 24% growth in that class. That's what weekly growth means is how much of the class did you do the last week? They did a good amount in language arts. And I can see their weekly growth in world history. They didn't do any world history last week, uh, which might give me cause for concern, but on the other hand, they did a ton in algebra. So maybe I'm happy with them focusing on these three classes and really getting a lot done. And it's okay if they didn't do world history. For each class, I can see their current grade. Right now they have a 94% in digital learning and anything between 90 and 100 is an A. They have a 77% in language arts, which is between 70 and 80 is a C. And they have an 88% in world history, which means they're getting a B. So the current grade and the letter grade correlate with each other. Current progress, this means what percentage are they done with the semester? So they're 68% done with the digital learning class. We just got a little bit more to go, but they're getting pretty close. They're 80% done with Algebra A, which is good. They're almost done with that. 78% done, again, almost done with Language Arts. They're only 23% done with World History. So they're behind. Uh, they, I would like them to be farther. That just means they're 23%. That's how far they are in the class. 23% out of 100% done. So they've done like one fifth of the class, or probably one out of the five units. Clearly behind ahead, on pace, far behind. This just gives you a really quick indication of where you should be. These pacings are set for 12 weeks. So when you're assigned a class, you're also assigned a start date and then a goal of finishing that class in 12 weeks. Now, some of you are regular. They just, you want to do that 12-week pace. Others of you may want to work ahead. Others of you uh, may be behind to that pace for different reasons. Uh, again, this report just assumes a 12-week pace, and that's just what it's set at. So uh, she's a little bit behind the 12-week pace. She's ahead of the 12-week pace in algebra. She's right on pace in language arts. She's really far behind in world history. And the target pace uh, says, here's what we want you to be at for this class based on 12 weeks. And it gives a little bit of indication about what target pace and weekly growth mean right down there as well. Finally, the goal is to look over your progress and then really quickly connect with teachers if you need to. So right down here, we have each of your classes, the teacher for each of your classes, an email address, if I click and I open this, it'll open up right to an email, which is really handy. And then teacher's phone number. So I can just say, okay, world history, uh, not much growth. I'm not working in that. Let's check in with Mrs. Kavanaugh about world history and how we can finish that. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you guys as you're looking over your own reports and making sense of what you have. 
and let me know if you have any questions.